Hey, good morning, folks. AJ here. We are back down here at New Vine Baptist Church. And based off of some conversations that we had um, with Pastor Travis and all the other stuff and the location, they have decided to go ahead and upgrade their internet to Starlink. So that's why we are here. He actually picked up everything yesterday. Um, I was here yesterday to replace the fiber optic HDMI cable that was going to the right TV. Um, don't know what in the world was going on with that, but we did that yesterday and that's when he told me. And um, we are here. And based off, I've already done some initial um, kind of testing and location and obstructions. So based off of this the way i'm pointing right now is southwest so pretty much the antenna i mean the dish is going to be facing east so we're going to be facing in this direction and then when i did some obstruction testing there's going to be nothing here in, in the way because i mean it's nothing but clear skies so i don't need to get really that high i'm pretty much looking at probably putting this right here the dish right on the eve of this on that roof right there and this ethernet cable right here is already going into the um, into the office. So we're gonna pull that and run our cable there and we should be good. And actually he's pulling up right now. So once we get in here, um, I'll take you do a little quick time lapse. I actually had my drone flying out earlier, um, but it looks like I left the memory card in my computer. So we didn't have that much um, time to record. I did get a little bit, but not a lot. But anyway, let's get inside um, Get all the equipment. I'm gonna do some testing to show you what their current internet speed is down here, which is abysmal um, And they don't really the companies here don't really offer anything here. So This is kind of like some of the only viable options for some of you know the people here in the area if you want to be able to do some live streaming or just not even just live streaming having better internet connection here but anyway let's get inside and then we go from there alrighty so he got the mount this is the official mount so I just need to get my drill so we can mount this I already got my ladder there and pretty honestly this is very very straightforward um, they don't really have installers for this stuff because it's mainly meant to be a DIY type of project. But we're, when we're in these type of situations, we go ahead and do this for them. All I got to do is really find one of the beams to screw into so that it's very secure. It actually has some tar that will hold and seal up the hole once we get there um and that's about it so i just need to find the socket that will fit this and then we go from there all righty so we are just gonna find a place to anchor this in make a little pilot hole to make this easier to drill into and then go for now i'm gonna reposition my ladder so i can get a little bit higher I'm getting as close to over here as possible because the cable is right on this other side so that should make this pretty easy because again I don't know the length of the cable that he has I do have a hundred foot that's meant for Mount Tabor that I was going to be replacing tomorrow but I should be able to get a next day if I have to use that cable so let's set for a deep scan And it's not picking up. So we're just going to have to feel up under here at the soffit to find out where that is. So it's actually 
right here. So hopefully that's far enough. Because again, we got clear sky here. Worst case, if we have to move it, we'll move it. Make sure I'm lined up here. Make some pilot holes. Then we do the official ones. And then we're good to go. Now, worst case, I probably could put it right there, but if I need to slide it over, we'll put it right there. And they do give you patches so that if anything happens that you needed to um, fix some other stuff, that is all well and good. They ain't going nowhere, so all good. So now, let's hook up everything, and I'll actually put it on the ground first and get a good placement for it, and then take you along with the app. So let me stop this so I can actually get down from here. Alrighty, pretty straightforward. Again, we're gonna be doing again this again tomorrow. This is the regular cable that comes with it. Hopefully, since we're so close, run it through the wall up here and then it's going to drop down here into the office so we should have more than enough to get over there so i have this set up but what i'm probably going to do is move this into its final position because i know uh, pastor travis is setting up an account so we can get everything registered so let me put this up on the um the mount that we did and then i am going to work on running that cable inside of here and then set up everything once it's in the office and we'll test the old speed compared to the new. Alrighty, we got everything set up, but in doing the address, it accidentally grabbed um, an address in Williamsburg, same address, but Williamsburg. So we had to update the service address waiting for it to be here. But just to show you, this is the original speed right now. That is two, 0.77 megabytes download and 0.69 upload. So once everything is reacclimated and they got an update on the address and all this other stuff, we'll test it again. And I'm gonna go up the street because I need to get a switch to replace the old one. Alrighty, we're fresh back and as you can see, I got my gigabit switch here that replaced what we had connected here. So now we have a connection. Let's run that test again. And let's see what we get now. About hundreds of times faster than what it was. So again, the download originally was like two megs. We're at 900 and about, I mean, excuse me, 95. Upload was 0.6. Now we're at 15 to 16 uploads. So significantly different so 
Yay. Now let's go upstairs and let's look at the equipment and see how that works now. All right. Bye bye. That's it. So we'll be set up for the live stream. So it's fast enough for them to live stream here. So now <laughs> Pastor Joe doesn't have to worry about getting the recording and uploading it. So they could actually do it here, but you can still boot, do both at the same time. Oh, that's right. So yes, yeah, so it's night and day difference. Um, just from a performance, being able to pull video, um, all this other stuff. So I'm glad it's getting with them what they need to do. So going to help them with setting up. Um, we just finished streaming on Facebook, and that works fine for them. Um, and then just got a few other things to help them out with, probably help them set up a Google account for um, YouTube. And so another church, not that we didn't modernize it already earlier last week, but we got them up. So now just helps them do the live streaming and all this other stuff enhances the internet as well too worst case what well, the next step i would think is possible is maybe put some access points so we can have more wi-fi since the starlink router is in that closet the only people going to get connected there are probably in the fellowship hall but like a, a access point in the sanctuary and then one in the fellowship hall could probably i could foresee probably be in the next step but no time soon but that's about it but yeah, so that's about it. We we really got um, New Vine transformed. They, we got them their cameras and everything that we did displays inside of here, and we also got internet. So now they can record. And I gotta come back here and clean up all this stuff that fell down from here. So my voice is coming through here, but um, let me clean this up, and then we'll be back and talk about how everything finished in here. All right, so that's it. We got another ministry straight with their internet. So now instead of them, well, it's in a better position because of what we did with the um, upgrading of the video system that we did last week. Um, and they were able to record everything through the, the ATEM. And then they take everything home and upload it. So yes, that helped them, but now, they don't have to worry about that. They can actually upload directly from their live stream now, and they can actually have everything go live while they have, while they're running service. So we got everything good. I'm going to come up here and just reposition that, but everything is good to go. So again, it's a good option. If you are kind of stuck in a location where they're not trying to provide any type of faster internet options and you're kind of restricted on what you're doing i think this is a good option um and after i've installed this at about three churches now um you can i'll put a link to all of the places i believe they're live streaming not some of them aren't yet um they're still doing zoom but they do have the ability to do the stuff so excited about that and um just glad to be able to help out down here and get them up to speed and i'm sure we're going to be talking about probably putting some a uh, unified stuff here so they can have um wi-fi to spread throughout the entire church but anyway all these trucks are going by and i got a lot of editing to get that noise out of the way um if you like this type of content appreciate a like consider subscribing hit that bell the way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry thanks for watching folks this is aj see you on the next video later